first time ever recording a YouTube video, and this video is for children. The um, video is an art lesson of a watercolor bunny. Here it is. I just painted it and recorded it for you. You will learn how to mix colors, how to apply the colors to the uh, painting, and give you tips on how to soften edges. And just to have fun and relax and just paint a nice little painting. I know that a lot of you are home right now, and I just thought that this would be a fun project uh, for you and to just um, share with you what I know. I will provide an outline and instructions on how to transfer the outline to your watercolor paper. These are some examples that I have painted for practice and just to show you the different color combinations that you can do. Here's one. Here's another one that was just done with different uh, colors. And here's one that was uh, matted right here. And here's a smaller version. This is an 8 by 10 size. And you can take the outline and you can definitely make a larger painting too if you decide to go there. So I hope that you enjoy this lesson that I created and just relax and just enjoy the lesson. Maybe you might want to watch the video first and then do your lesson. Happy painting. Thank you very much. You're first going to take your outline and place it over the watercolor paper. And we're going to add a little piece of tape. We're going to take some tracing paper and put it right under. And you'll use a pin to trace around it. Um, this outline is here. You can do it there or you can cross hatch on the back. If you have a kneaded eraser, you can just um, take your kneaded eraser and you can lift off this extra. And you can use a watercolor palette like this. Or if you have tubes of paint, you can use a blue, a, a, a red or pink, and a yellow, the three primary colors. And you can just add them to your palette. So what I did here is I added a little bit of uh, primrose and some yellow and some blue. And this is how you're going to paint. You're going to um, first add water. You're first going to add water to your bunny. Just clean water. Just move the water all over the inside of the bunny outline, just like this. You can see how I'm using the point of my brush just to stay in. And all I'm doing is I'm moving the water around on the inside of the outline, just like this. Not too much water, but you want enough water so that when you add the watercolors in there, they will flow and spread. And you want to paint around the eye and the nose. Just like that. And this ear is facing us, so we'll add a little bit of pink in there. And this one is facing away from us. So there is water all on the inside of the bunny. And sometimes you can lift it up to see where the dry areas are, and you can just move some water in there. There's water, and it's, you can see how it um, kind of glistens and kind of shines. So now you're ready to mix some colors. And you paint your bunny. And I'm going to be using um, pink or red, if you have red. And if you mix these two colors, this one and blue together, you'll get beautiful purple. Just like that. So you can get the beautiful purple. We're just going to make a pink and purple bunny. So now you have your colors on your brush. And you can just do this. See how the colors spread? Or you can just make big colors. Maybe you just want to use purples. 
Right. And you clean your brush and wipe it on your paper towel. It's had a little bit of pink to the inside, just like that. And if you get a hard edge, you can just take your brush clean and you can soften that edge on the outside. Just like this. See, you can soften the edge, just like that. So I have more color. And I'm just going to add it here. This is the first layer. Usually the first layer is a little light wash. So I'm just going to make them. I just want you to have fun. Just mix any colors that you have. You can um, make a, you know, brown bunnies with um, black spots or any color that you decide you want to do it. You know, you think of the colors that you want to um, use. You can make your bunny look like rainbow colors, maybe just yellows and oranges. Think about color combinations and just have fun. You know, just paint. This is um, just to relax and just to learn about watercolor. See how I'm moving the brush? Just like that. So I'm just painting around the nose and the eye, just like this. And don't worry about erasing the pencil lines because you can always do that last when the painting is dry. So this is the first wash. And, and after it dries a little bit, you definitely can go back in there and add more color. Um, here is an example of one that I did earlier, right here. Oh, this one was um, already done and it's got a, a layer that's already dry, but if you add more water, into an area, you can add more color, deeper value to change it. See how you can change the color, make them deeper and richer if you want. So you can do that with this one here after it dries. I'm going to switch over to a smaller brush. This is called a liner. It's a very thin um, brush. And I'm just going to wet it and I'm going to use a little bit of brown for the eye. Um, let's just use this palette because you can use this palette. You don't have to have um, paint from tubes. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint the little eyeball and leave the white um, dot on the inside just like that. And then we'll do the nose. And we can't do the whiskers right now because if you do, the, the watercolors will bleed into where the uh, area is wet. So you want to leave that alone for now until it dries. And then you can outline. See how you have to have a steady hand to do this. Now when this dries, I will go deeper in there. To make grass, you can use um, your blue and your yellow. And let's make green for the grass. So we're going to take some blue and some yellow. And there's some green there. You want to make it darker use more pigment, less water to make a richer green, a darker green. See how this is darker? Lighter, darker. So just with the side of your brush, you're going to make a sweeping brush stroke. It's important to have enough paint so you don't run out like I am right here. And I'm going to add a little bit of darker green down underneath the bottom to make it look like he has little shadows. Just like this. And then if you want to make some grass, you can do this sort of thing. See how I'm just flicking the brush? Just like that. Let's make a carrot now. So to paint a carrot, you can make orange with yellow and the red or the pink. And this is how you make orange. Let's wipe a little bit of the screen here so we can have a spot to mix. So you're going to take a little bit of yellow and a little bit of the red and look at the beautiful orange that you make. Okay. And practice, you can practice first making a carrot. And just point and pull. Carrot. Carrot. And you can get your green 
There's a little, this is what happens when it's too wet. You know, the colors will kind of bleed and run into each other. So you can do this sort of thing. Let's add a carrot to the painting, and I will add a carrot right in here. So I'm going to flip my paper around like this, and I'm going to carry this back. grass down here to anchor the carrot. Add more shadow. You can see as it dries that you can add darker values underneath. And so now I'm going to, now that the eye is dry a little bit and the whisk, this area for the whiskers is dry, I'm going to add a little bit darker brown and this is black a little bit black steady hand for the whiskers this is the beauty of watercolors sometimes the colors will run into each other and it just makes beautiful little unexpected blooms like that and I'm going to let this dry a little bit and then I'll add another little layer there but look at I'm really happy with the way it looks um, this is drying so you can definitely take your eraser and you can erase when it's dry you can uh, take your kneaded eraser and you can erase those little pencil lines just like that okay now if you want to add clouds you can add clouds up here you can just take your um, brush and Mix a blue, just a blue. And you can just use your brush on the side again. You're just going to mix just a little. And what we're going to do to soften these hard edges along the side is we're going to take the brush and clean it. And you're going to soften the edges while it's still wet like this. You're going to just soften in those edges. Take a look wisely. This is so, so easy and fun. And you could um, drop maybe a little bit of purple in there underneath the bottom. And just to tie it in with the bunny. that the carrot is drying a little bit I think I will add a little bit more of orange underneath the bottom so take some darker green And if you, you want to sign your name right here at the bottom, you don't want to sign it too close to the edge because if you put a mat, you'll cover your, uh, your name. And what I like to do sometimes is I'll take a piece of scratch paper and I'll just practice with this rigger here. And, you know, just pretend like this is a pen and just sign your name. Practice. First couple of times on a piece of paper and then load your brush with some paint. And you can just sign your name where it's dry because you don't want to sign it where it's um, wet because if you do, the colors will bleed. So here's how I would sign it. I just sign it just so it's 
my brush was in the pen. There we go. And this is how it would look with a mat. If you had a mat, you can definitely put a mat around it. Like this. Or you can get an easel stand and just lay it on a on an easel stand. So I hope that you enjoyed this lesson. And this was just a simple uh, watercolor lesson that you can do at home. You can um, take you can take the, the copy, the outline, and you can add more bunnies. If you have a larger piece of paper, you can paint more bunnies. You can paint a, a painting that has maybe two bunnies. Here's one that I did on a on a larger sheet. And you can see that this 